What's up guys, it's Bastion with Faction PV. It's Michael with Faction PV. And today we're going to do a video comparison on the Draxus Pulse. And the Die Rotor. So, first of all, we're going to talk about maintenance. Uh, maintenance is really easy with the Draxus Pulse. It has a removable drive cone that can be taken out in seconds. As you can see, you can get to maintenance to, for uh, breaking balls. You know, you just wipe it all out. If you break a ball in the shell, you wipe it out with a rag. Real easy, real simple to put it back together. Just put it in there, squeeze these two buttons, and you're good to go. Uh, the die rotor, really simple also. Just like, let's you break it down a little more. Just, uh, you can break down pretty much every component of this hopper without any tools needed. So, just taking all this apart, you can see, totally removed everything in there except the motor. Just gonna leave that in there for now. But, um, Anything really that you break, I mean, it's the main piece. Any balls that you break in there, just clean that out really quick. Wipe off the shell if there's any broken balls. Real so simple and easy. Both hoppers have really good maintenance. Really impressive both of them. So put this back in. Make sure it works. Alright, so now um, we're going to uh, talk about lids. This is a magnetic friction lid, so um, if you don't close it all the way, it will grab on with the magnets, but you're going to have to give it an extra push to completely close it, but it can, it can stay on without completely closing it pretty well. Now on the motor, it's a friction lid, and uh, I, I like it. I mean, it stays put on, but like really easy to come off, usually on a pod. If I'm about to reload, just tap it, so it's the die rotor So lid. you have a little bit of an advantage with the die rotor. I mean, um, spe speed feeds, uh, die rotor has a proprietary die grind, the exalt, and the virtue grind now has one out. And the, um, the pulse loader takes any other, any ordinary speed feed for the Halo or the Pinocchio. But um, now we're going to talk about, you know, um, colors. Um, you're probably going to get the most colors out of the rotor. The rotor, like, it, it only has, it has different colors on black, so you can buy different color kits, you can get a variety of different colors, they have green, camo, yellow, red, leopard, and uh, just like a lot of colors, but you're, always, you're only going to replace this top part, the lid, the windows, and the jewel, so the rest is going to stay black, so, alright, with the Draxxus holes, pretty much you only get the choices of black, smoke, and clear, which is not too much, but uh, I like the smoke, so I, I was fine with the pulse and getting the smoke, so now we're going to talk about speed. This can go, Draxxus claims it can go 42 balls per second, but I would have to say it's more around 35, 36. Um, Die claims that it can go 50 BPS, and I mean, I've achieved close, but not that. I mean, max is like 45, 44, but still, both hoppers. You're gonna get a consistent hopper at lower speeds because the higher the speed, the bet, the more consistent it is at lower speeds. So. All right, capacity for these hoppers is approximately kind of um, this one gets like 196 or 197. I'm pretty sure. So it's like around 200. Same thing with the rotor. So. Both same. So you don't really waste that much paint, and you can get uh, another shell is for the rotor. You can get a high cap shell, raises the ball count to 250. But I mean, really, if you're having problems with this, I mean, back then. Go for the shell, front end, mid end, like really, this is a really good size. I mean, you're not wasting that much paint. I mean, I just like it. Um, so th these uh, shells are really hard. Um, this, uh, the shell on this is made, um, it's the same material as the V-Force lenses. So it's really strong, but um, feed necks, um, they will hold on, but you know, you better watch out with your feed necks. Um, I play snake, so um, I have to take care of my feed neck and make sure it doesn't break because that would be an issue. Uh, with the rotor, like really tough, really durable hopper. I mean, I've dropped mine a couple times and it still looks pretty much brand new. So, like the plastic, it's like a different type of polycarbonate, like really smooth finish, but doesn't really scratch easily. And the feed neck, uh, like this feed neck to me looks and feels like it'll never have a problem with breaking or snapping, just because you want to see. Just like it's one piece completely, it's part of the shell, and it just it's thick and it holds on. So, 
All right, now we're going to talk about the anti-jam feature. This loader has an anti-jam feature that's um, pretty unique. Um, you don't you don't really see it on any any other hopper. So you see it spinning, and you click a little blue button, and it will go backwards. This little button right here. So it's uh, pretty nice for jams. I mean, once you get a jam, just tap that button, and you'll be back in the game. The rotor uh, has its like own little anti-jam function, and it's actually pretty neat. A little fin right here connects to the the motor, and you can see a little fin right there. It'll actually reverse the function, kind of like a pulse, but you can see this little new anti-jam piece for the 2009 rotors just clears any jam you have. I've used it. It works every time without a charm. So. Alright, now we're going to talk about the weights of these hoppers and the batteries that these take. Alright, the Draxxus Pulse takes um, either six double A's with a pack or one 9 volt. Right now I have the one 9 volt in here and it's um it weighs uh, not as much as a halo, like a lot less than a halo, but like not as light as a velocity. So kind of like in between. It's kind of between a halo and a rotor. Yeah. So the rotor is uh, I mean it's one step below the pulse. Uh, it's less than a halo and a little bit less than a pulse, but these really kind of evenly weighted. And uh, three double A's for the rotor. Yeah. And they weigh um. I would have to say the pulse weighs like maybe a couple ounces more, but like barely anything. You won't be able to notice it on your gun. And the uh, battery life on the rotor, really impressed. I mean, people uh, die claims like 50 cases. I mean, so far I don't have to replace mine after like four cases, but, but I mean, know, I wouldn't exaggerate that. Like I wouldn't go yeah. for 50 uh, uh, cases. I'm still, I'm still trying out. I'll update you when my batteries die. So. These um this these batteries when you have a six pack it's a little bit more than the halo but when you have the nine volt it's a little bit less than the halo so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna talk about RF capability. This loader has RF capability, so you sync it to your gun and you have to have the RF chip. On yeah, you. you have to have the RF chip, which is about forty five dollars. Am I correct? Uh, around. Yeah. So each time they pull the trigger on your gun. Sorry. Hold on. Um, you just have to pull, you pull the trigger on your gun, the hopper will spin on command. Uh, the rotor, really nice. It doesn't use, um, it doesn't use RF, but it really has no eye system. It's a, it's a force feeding hopper, but the whole mechanism stops when there's pressure on the ball stack. Okay? I did not say ball stack, as in Mike Tech <laughs> Ball, ball stack. stack. So, when it's, um, when you see, when it senses any pressure, the motor will stop. And the second it goes, it'll turn back on, but it's really instantaneous and you won't notice any decrease in consistency. Um, the pulse has kind of the similar way with the pressure, but it has a little pulsing mode. I'm going to show you the pulse mode. Alright, it's in pulse mode and you can see my, it'll twitch like a pulse. So you can do quick snap shooting without a problem and the, the balls will always be in your feet neck when you're snap shooting. And everything will be on. Fine. So um, that's pretty much it for the hopper show. Um, if you want to see it really quick, just uh, bring out a PMR. You can see both hoppers on it. First, you can put yours on there. Just a little reference. Anyone just on the uh, stack up um, on gun. So if anybody has like a maybe PMA DM9, you know this looks pretty similar. So this is how it looks. Uh, I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, this gun is really nice. Um, on the yeah, here we go. So it's a uh, really low rise um, feed neck. And it uh, looks pretty good. I'm going to put on the rotor now. Alright, so uh, this is the rotor on it. And as you can see, uh, really, really low rise. I mean, this is. Let me just loosen that, put it back on. Okay, so. Really, really low rise, low profile. I mean, as you can see, just like it pretty much just like blend with the whole gun. So, I mean, die proto. I mean, you can see they really struck it with this one together. So, yeah, that's how it looks on the gun. Uh, really nice hoppers, both. I give them about nine out of I give mine about nine out of ten. Give mine like same 9.5. Yeah. Really, really like them. Really nice. Finish the show up. Man. Alright, so uh, this has been Faction PB, Michael and Sebastian, uh -huh. and uh, Hopper, Draxxus Pulse versus 
The Die Rotor Comparison. Faction PB.